Hi everybody, my name is Stephanie Thiessen and I'm your Job Moment Independent Distributor. Today I had a fight with my four-year-old's car seat and unfortunately uh, it won. I, uh, I don't know if you have ever used a forward-facing car seat before, uh, but it has a little strap that you have to pull to tighten it up. And, uh, and I, well, I guess I was pulling too hard and my hand slipped and I punched the back of the driver's seat and it totally broke my nail. It's actually bleeding. You can see underneath the nail there and it is broken pretty far back into the nail, unfortunately. So um, yeah, it is what it is, but I have the tools with my John Moment stuff to be able to fix it and, um, and make it better so that it can grow out and heal on its own and I don't have to cut it all the way back. Like if you look how far how far back I'd have to cut it and it goes right into the nail bed right here. So it would be, it would be pretty painful for a while if I just left it and, uh, and didn't try and fix it. So I'm going to fix it with the tea bag method and, uh, and it's going to be able to heal and grow out and I'll still have a nice long nail. So I'm going to start off by cutting my tea bag here. So I'm going to be careful because obviously my thumbnail is broken. So I'm going to cut a strip of tea bag and just cut across there and then I'm going to cut it in half because it was on the fold. There we go. So I'm just going to make sure that it is long enough. Yeah. And, um, and make sure that it is wide enough that it's going to cover um, quite a bit of this crack here because it, it actually it's cracked right here but it's peeled up further up here so it's quite it's quite a good it's quite a good break so now that I've got my tea bag cut and ready I'm actually just going to trim this down just a tiny bit there's a bit of a fold from when I cut off the fold on the tea bag so there we go now it's nice and flat. So now I'm just going to prepare the nail like I normally would. I'm going to use my Jumbo Moment, Jumbo Moment nail file and I'm going to buff the surface of the nail. Um, I'm going to be really careful because if I go like this on the broken torn part, it's going to rip the rest of my nail off. So I'm going to be really careful about that and just gently buff. It's actually peeled and cracked um, on this side as well. It hasn't cracked through here but you can kind of see where it's peeled up the layers as I smashed it and I guess it pushed back when I punched the seat. Those kids car seats are pretty dangerous. How many times have you pinched your fingers or pinched the leg of the child you're trying to buckle in? So I'm just gently buffing over the surface of the nail. So you can see the tip of my nail is actually it, it actually broke and snapped off as well so it's not perfectly smooth it's not nice and shaped nicely I'm going to fix the crack first so that I get that out of the way and then I will shape it to be a nice looking uh, nice looking nice shaped nail so I'm going to take my cleanser pad and I'm going to cleanse the nail and again I'm going to be really careful I don't want the cleanser pad to catch on any of the ripped torn parts of my nail and then I end up ripping it off even more. So I'm just really gently cleaning it off. So I actually I had polish on when it broke and I think the polish actually helped it from not snapping all the way back here. Um, and so I really carefully removed the polish with the flake off. I wasn't sure I couldn't see how far this was or where it was broken into my skin and so I wanted to be really careful about removing it because the the acetone in the pouches um, is going to burn really badly on any open wounds. So I used the flake off really carefully. It was really good. It came off. I didn't have any pain or anything like that. So that was really good. So I'm going to use Clearly Frisky now to patch up my nail. I'm just going to open the bottle. And this is my right hand, my dominant hand. So it might be a little bit awkward in the video, but hopefully we're good. So I'm going to take my Clearly Frisky and I'm going to apply a coat over my nail so that the tea bag has something to stick to. Just 
just going down into the edges and I'm wanting to make sure that I'm covering this section pretty good and I'm not I'm not even going to cap right now I guess I'm going to file that down make it nice and smooth it's all kind of jagged and pointy right now so I'm just going to close that up and I'm going to grab my tea bag and I'm going to pop it on there so I'm going to squish it over so that it's right there and I'm going to have it hanging over a little bit which is okay I'm just going to push it down into the polish gently So it's okay, it's hanging over, I'm okay with that. I'm just going to cure that now that I've got it over there. Put that under the light. So what I would normally do is I would normally just um, do one coat of Clearly Frisky and then take my nail file and um, file it down a little bit to make sure that I don't have any rough edges. But because the crack is so bad, what I'm going to do is actually do a second coat of Clearly Frisky right away so that I am putting a bit of extra strength in there. Um, and then I will go ahead and file off any bumps or um, patches that aren't necessarily smooth. So we're almost done here. There we go. So now it's nice and dry, cured. I'm going to take my scissors, I'm just going to cut off if it's going to let me, no, I'll just file it off which is okay, my scissors are a little dull. So I'm going to go ahead and put another coat of Clearly Frisky over top. Just painting it over. There we go. Close it up. And what I'm going to do instead of cutting off that piece, I'm going to file it off. You won't even know that it's there. So the tea bag method is really great for being able to fix any cracks, big or small, any um, tears in the nail, it's always good to have a tea bag handy, um, especially as your nails get longer and healthier with uh, using gel moment. So making sure that you have something handy to be able to repair those um, breaks and cracks is a lot better and it looks nicer than ripping it all the way off and then you've got one short nail and the rest are all nice and long. So I definitely love this method for being able to quickly fix that and not have to um, ha not have to cut it all the way back, especially with a tear like this. Um, I'd be cu cutting it back like right into my nail bed. So there we go. We've got it on there. I'm just going to take my nail file now and I'm just going to file this down. See here, there we go. Pulled that piece of tea peg off. Okay, so I'm just gonna file it along the edges here. Like I said, I'm not going to shape my nail quite yet. Just gonna make it so it's nice and smooth. So because I added an extra layer of Clearly Frisky before I started filing it, I don't have to be quite as careful with it. So I'm just going to file over it, make sure that it's nice and smooth. So then use your finger and just kind of feel where there's any bumps, any parts where you can feel the tea bag in there. There's a little bump on the edge here. I'm just going to file it down.
there we go so it feels nice and smooth and I can't feel can't feel the tea bag anymore so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually shape this nail so that it is the right <laughs> the right length and size and shape that I want I think I'm going to end up just going with let's see here we got a round on this side we're just going to round it out round it off until it heals what I could do is I could do a nail build on here now that I've, he I've sealed that crack with the clearly frisky I could use a form and do a nail build so that I could keep it the same shape as the rest of my nails I might do that so there we go I'm just gonna buff the edges make sure there isn't any residue there so there's a little bit underneath here get that off so there we go so what I'm going to do now is there's a bit of a divot here I think that's where the edge of the other side of the tea bag was so I'm just going to file it down a little bit so I like to do this method when I am filing off the top just to make it smooth you go over it a few times and then you just look at it you can see you can actually see where it's smooth and where it's not so if you look you can see see if you can see it on the video there you can see there's a section here that's not um, that's not filed and there's a spot here which means that it's a divot inside the polish so it's not the same uh, not the same level as the top part that I'm filing so let's push that off again and so you can see those spots have gone away so now the nail should be nice and smooth clean that off one more time and feel it yeah that's perfect so what I'm going to do now is I am going to just clean that off under my nail I'm going to clean it off with the alcohol swab and you can kind of see now that it's clean where that tea bag is so I'm going to clean it off and then I'm going to put another coat of Clearly Frisky over top and then once I'm done with that then you can either paint it this um, the color that the rest of your nails are so it matches um, or you can uh, just leave it and now you've just got it basically you've patched your nail and you've got what looks like a healthy natural nail And I might, like I said, do a nail build so that it can be the same length and the same shape as the rest of my nails. I'm due for a nail color change anyways, so I might just round off all my nails as well. Today is day 13 with my current manicure. And now I'm going to cap the edge of my nail there we go so I like to cap it this way there are other ways to cap your nail too but this is my preference and then I just go over the nail one more time smooth it all out And our polishes are all self-leveling, so if you just let it sit for a second, maybe five or ten seconds, the polish will level itself out and you won't have any ridges or anything like that underneath or in your polish that will be visible on, uh, like with a, a color, like especially light color, so like Lovey Dovey or Sensationelle, any of those might show any ridges or anything like that from applying Clearly Frisky underneath. So if you leave it for just a, just a few minutes, then it's really um, easy to just let it self-level out.
So we'll cure this and then I will be all done repairing my nail with the tea bag method. So it's really simple, it's really easy and the tea bag is extremely strong. I, this finger here, I have had, um, I broke it all the way back, uh, like in the nail bed, um, probably six weeks ago. And it is almost, it is almost grown out. It's almost there. Um, when I have the polish off, you can tell where the tea bag is and it's, it's pretty close to the end now. So I'm pretty excited to be able to have my healthy nail back, but that's how long the tea bag is going to, is going to last for. You'll be able to allow your nail to grow out, to be nice and healthy, and you won't have to worry about cutting it all the way back. So there you go. If you have any questions, please let me know. I will be happy to answer them for you. And um, now my nail is fixed. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye.